Step 3. Bell states. So we said that Bell states form a very important class of entangled states of two qubits. And there's four of them, and we can write them as follows. We have already encountered the equal superposition of 0, 0, plus 1, 1. Normally we call that a phi plus state. Its counterpart is the phi minus state, which is a 0, 0, minus 1, 1. And there are two more states, psi plus and psi minus. And uh, psi plus is equal to 0, 1, plus 1, 0, with equal superposition of that. And phi minus is 0, uh, 1, minus 1, 0. And these states we will see again and again in the context of quantum communication, quantum computation, quantum key distribution, basically throughout this entire course. An interesting um, thing about the Bell states is that they form uh, an um, orthogonal basis of two qubits. So we can begin by rewriting the computational basis in terms of the Bell basis. Just by doing very simple juggling of the terms, you can see that 0, 0 can be written as a superposition of phi plus and phi minus. And similarly for 0, 1, which is an uh, equal superposition of psi plus and psi minus, whereas 1, 0 is an equal superposition of phi plus minus phi minus, and 1, 1 is given by phi plus minus phi minus. So this means that we can take any uh, ket any pure state of two qubits, given in this form, where we have some arbitrary probability amplitudes alpha, beta, gamma, delta, and we can rewrite it in terms of the Bell states. And of course, the probability amplitudes have to transform accordingly. So this means that now we can even measure in the Bell basis, and we know what probabilities of the various outcomes we get. But remember, uh, in the previous lessons, we were asking questions, is the state in 0, is the state in 1, is the state in plus, is the state in minus, because we were dealing only with a single qubit. This time, we are dealing with two qubits, so there are four possibilities that we can actually get out. Now the question is, is the state in phi plus, is it in phi minus, is it in psi plus, or is it in psi minus? These are all the different possible outcomes of the measurement. And here are the probabilities. We already wrote the state uh, psi in the Bell basis. Therefore, it's very easy to read out the probabilities of measurement outcomes. So we measure state psi plus with probability uh, modulus of alpha plus beta squared over 2. And similarly, we can just read off the probabilities for the other measurement outcomes uh, as well. And this will be, again, very important because measurements in Bell basis are crucial in many protocols in quantum communication, namely teleportation and entanglement swapping. And we will see both of these protocols and look quite closely at them later in, in this module. Let's ask a different question. Given that we are sharing or we have a Bell pair, what happens if we just measure one qubit? Remember, we encountered this uh, scenario in the CHSH game, where the players were sharing uh, a Bell state, 0, 0, plus 1, 1, and they were performing uh, local measurements on the qubits that were in their possession. So, let's take as a concrete example a state phi plus again, we saw in the CHSH game. And we only measure qubit A, we leave, uh, we leave qubit B untouched. And let's say that we measure it in the X spaces. And we can compute that the probability of the plus uh, one outcome and the minus one outcome is equal. It's a half. Remember, now there are only two outcomes because we are measuring a single qubit. We can change the basis, let's say, to a Pauli Y basis. And again, we get that the probability of plus out one pl outcome is the same as the probability of the minus one outcome. And again, it's a half. Same for the Z basis. And in fact, in any basis that you measure, a qubit A, you get the same result, that the probabilities of getting one state as opposed to and the probability of getting the other state is 50-50. And we can go through the same thing for uh, measuring qubit B, and again, we see the same behavior. So in fact, what's happening is that the local measurements are uniformly random in any basis. Remember, the state of the global system is pure. 
We know exactly what it is, yet no matter in what basis we measure the states locally, we are getting 50% uh, one outcome and 50% the other outcome. So, we can say that we have no knowledge of the local states of um, qubit A and qubit B. This goes back to our previous discussion about uh, the difference between entangled states and product states. So since this state is entangled, in fact we will see later that it's maximally entangled, the correct description of the local qubits must be given in terms of density matrices. And we can write that the state of qubit A is a maximally mixed state. So with uh, half probability half, it's in the zero state, and with probability half, it's in the one state. And same for qubit B. Again, we write it as a maximally mixed state. Just to stress how strange this is, that we have a full knowledge of the global state, yet we have zero knowledge of the local states. Let's look at this. Again, qubit A is a maximally mixed state. We have no knowledge. Qubit B, no knowledge as well. Yet, somehow, when we look at the state globally, we have perfect knowledge of the entire state. 